Okay, hello again. So what I want to do is show you the find uh, string function, and it's very useful um, uh, with it's a very useful um, expression or function to use when reconstructing dates. So um, it's often used in conjunction with substring um, uh, substring expression. So it's very important in cases where uh, the date is of variable length. Uh, for example, the month component in this, um, in this column here can either be one or two characters long, depending on whether it's the um, October, November, December, or it's uh, with the months previously. So what this um, find string function does, and I've just got another, got a connection manager on there that connects to that file we're just looking at, and what it does is it basically identifies how long the uh, that variable length uh, component is, and that allows you to feed it back into the substring um, expression to pull out just the uh, the relevant component of the of the date. So in that case, the uh, the month component. So the best way to do to explain this is to actually just do one, do it. So I'll pull on a derived column. Um, go up to the string functions, pull in find string, just expand this out a little bit so you can see. So what we'll need to do is define the uh, character expression which is essentially the column. So this is going to be based on this column here. The string that we're looking for is uh, I think that is a forward slash, isn't it, from memory? Um, and then the occurrence means, is it going to be the first, second, or whatever occurrence? In this case, we want to, the first time it hits the uh, the forward slash, that's when we want it to register it. So we'll just call this position of fs forward slash. Um, so that will work but what that'll do is that'll actually say what the position of the forward slash is what we actually want to do is find out the position of the last character so that'll be the position of the for the position of the last character in the month part of the uh, of the string so what it actually is is the position of the forward slash minus one because we were pulling it from the, the position before it um, and what we'll do now is we can then feed this into a substring. So for the substring, we will, the purpose of the substring is to pull out the uh, month component of the character. So we'll go down, pull out substring. Actually, I'll just go back up there and just put this all around bra in brackets so, uh, so it doesn't get confused. So the character expression is, again, like I was saying, the column. Let's pull in the column. The start position is obviously 1. And the length is the last, since it starts at 1 and finishes, finishes just before the forward slash, we then paste this in. Hopefully that'll turn black. Yes, that's promising. And then we'll just call this um, we'll just call this month. Just to clean things up, I'll delete the previous columns. Go add, and we'll just put a data viewer in here to see whether we were right. So let's add that in. Add grid, we'll just put in the columns we're interested in, so we'll throw that out, get rid of that one, then we're, we should be in action. Set this running, and here we go. So we've got the original column, and then we've got the month component. So what we can now do is use that in conjunction with, basically reconstruct the uh, the uh, date using that month component and then concatenating in the uh, the day and the year components as I've shown in the previous uh, previous demonstration in this uh, 
in this uh, series. Um, and if you're interested in um, finding out more about SQL Server Integration Services, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll uh, keep you updated with lots of little tricks and tips within uh, SQL Server Integration Services.